friends. Got to make sure I look my best. An important visitor is coming to Gabaland. Good morning, brave citizens of Gabaland. Tis I, Mini King Tambor. Hello, Your Highness. Please, please. That's not necessary. I've come to ask for your help. My peaceful kingdom has been disturbed by a pesky dragon. Huh? What happened, Your Kingliness? Ah, allow me to tell you the tale. Once upon a time, a dragon arrived in our fair village. And the villagers were afraid because a dragon had never been seen up close before. He was tall and scaly with huge wings, sharp claws, and teeth. At the sight of him, the villagers ran into their houses and locked all their doors. The children stared at him through their windows, frozen in fear. No one would play with him or even come close, and so he started to become a mean bully. He flew through the town whenever he pleased, making a mess and calling the townspeople names, which made them sad. One day, I tried to talk to the dragon myself, but he only laughed and made fun of my size. No one knows exactly where he goes at night, but some say he lives in a dragon's lair far, far away, past the spooky forest. So now, I've come to Gabalan for your help with our dragon bully. What a story! Poor villagers. Poor dragon. He's probably just as scared as they are. Indeed, and there's more. Yesterday, he flew away with all our town's blankets. And winter is just about to arrive. Oh! Oh no! Everyone's gonna be so cold! The dragon surely seems cruel, but I wonder if all he really needs are some friends to show him a little kindness. So I've come to you, Mini King Tambor, to ask, will you please help us? My dear Tootie, what is the matter? Are you not ready for such a challenge? Uh, well, I want to help, but... But what? But I'm scared. What if I'm not brave enough or strong enough? I know real heroes when I see them. Look. See that you're having doubts. Um, yeah. But you're stronger than you think. I am? Yes, you're very brave indeed. Wow! You're the hero that we need. Ooh. I know you can do, do, do it. Believe in yourself and there's nothing to it. I've never tried this. And I'm a little scared. You'll be great, just believe, and soon you'll get there. Feeling any better now? Well, a little, but I don't feel as brave as you. Yes, you are! We think you're a hero too. Ooh! And we'll be there to help you too. Oh, yeah! We know you can do That's wonderful, Tootie. Now, let me show you the way. <laughs> you follow that path, and it will lead you to the dragon. Oh, but please, please hurry. You must bring back our dear blankets before the first snow falls. Come out, little one. We're friendly visitors. 
ears. What's the matter? The dragon was here, and he laughed at my haircut. Oh, I think your hair is totally cute. Maybe he was laughing at something else? He drew a picture. Oh. Oh, dear. That dragon sure is a big bully. Hi there. What happened to you? I was having a birthday party, and the dragon smushed my cake. What? How rude! The dragon breathed all over my flowers, and now they're wilted. My name is Sailor, and I like to dance. But the dragon took my dancing shoes. And did you hear? The dragon took all our blankets. <gasps> yes, we heard. Sorry about all the trouble with that old dragon. much better too, but I still wish I had my cake back. And my flowers! And my shoes to dance. And don't forget about our blankets. Don't worry, villagers. We're on a quest to find the dragon and fix everything! Yeah! Yeah! Excuse me, sir. Maybe if you cheer up the dragon, he'll stop being a bully. That's a great idea! We're gonna cheer up that dragon and make sure he stops bullying your village for good! Yeah! Come on, guys! Let's head to the spooky forest! I have a feeling our quest is just beginning! Not gonna lie, I'm a little spooked. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a couple of friendly gnomes. Pardon us, we've been waiting forever for someone to clear the path. Oh, hello there. Plex, can you do anything about this tree? Yes, I can. <laughs> Glad to help. Oh, little gnomes, are you looking for the dragon too? What? The dragon's that way. Uh, I think I have something in the oven. Let's go, Mabel. Good luck to you all. Um, you guys? What is it, Broby? Does anyone remember what the dragon looked like? <laughs> Voila. Huh? Hello, everyone. It is I, Sir Mark of Mother's Ba. Hi, Hi, Mark! Hello! I heard you guys need help finding a dragon. Yeah. yeah! Is it the one who's been bullying his way through the kingdom? Yeah! Oh, I know exactly what he looks like. What's he look like? Well, I'm gonna draw him for you. Okay! First, let's draw his head. Got him. Big oh. snout. <laughs> 
teeth. Now let's draw his body and feet. Uh, got a couple arms. Dragon has a tail. Got a tail. Okay, what's missing? Oh yeah, he's got two wings. Yep, that's the guy you're looking for. I made him a little cuter, though. Aww. Hope that helps. Good luck finding him. Goodbye. Thanks, Thanks Mark. Goodbye. 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 We will, Tootie. We just have to keep going. Hey! Check it out! Oh. Wow! What's that? I don't know, but I like it. I think it's trying to tell us something. with the hellos. I'm called the dragon. Now scram. But we were sent by the mini king. <laughs> that little guy? Ha! Go back and tell him Carl's in charge. We've come to ask you to stop bullying the nearby village. Don't you know it's not nice to mess with other people's things and call them names? Hey, man. That's what dragons do. Excuse me, dragon. I mean, Carl. Could you please give us back the town's blankets? Winter is coming, and without them, everyone in the village is going to be cold. Hey, what a funny little hat. I think I'll keep it. But, 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 but that is mine. Not anymore. <laughs> oh. Guys, I think I got an idea how to make Carl nicer. Hey, Carl. This is a pretty cool dragon slayer. But where are all your friends? Duh! Dragons don't need friends. We're tough and mean. No way! Everyone needs friends, even dragons. 
I'm half dragon and I love my friends. Aww. Who needs friends when I got all these blankets to make me happy? Trust me, friends are way better than blankets. I do anything for my friends and they do anything for me. Hmm. Let me show you. for the lovely drawing. I like my new haircut. Thanks for the cake. Now I can have my birthday party. <laughs> Mr. Carl, these flowers are beautiful. And I finally have shoes to dance. My name is Sayla. I like to dance. And thanks to Carl, we all got our blankets back. Yeah! Yeah! I'm so sorry, Your Highness. I never realized how fun it is to be nice. I love my new friends. Oh, that's great, Carl. And we are happy to be your friends, too. In fact, your new friends in town knitted you a giant blanket so you'll be warm for the winter. Oh, thank you so much, everyone. Look at me, a dragon with friends. <laughs> Blankets have been returned just in time for winter. Oh, I can't thank you enough for all your hard work and courage. It's time for a royal celebration. Fetch the mini band. Hooray! It's Neon Indian with a song I wrote for Carl. It's called Carl Song, or We Learn from Our Mistakes. Yeah! <laughs> Dancing to music is royally awesome! awesome. Yay! You said it, King! Huh? Hey, 
guys. It's almost time to go back to Gabaland. But first, I brought my remix flute. This door will take you back home. Now it's time to dance. Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Well, let's do it. I'll break it down. I know. You can do, do, do it. Believe in yourself. And there's nothing to it. Thanks for playing with us. See you next time. Bye! Bye. Here we go. Yo! Yo.